just here to invite you to our September night vigil. And uh, the theme of the night vigil is Open Heavens. One thing is that every child of God must enjoy open heavens, must walk under open heavens. You see, because the Bible says there in James chapter 1, verse 17, it says that every good and every perfect gift comes from God. And that means that as a child of God, we must expect our heavens to be open, to receive those good and perfect gifts from God. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's why we're just uh, excited to just say, please come and join us for this meeting tomorrow. It's happening here at 9 p.m. and until about 12.30. And we know that God is going to be with us. God is going to bring about open heavens for us in every area of our lives. So that for the rest for the rest of this year, we'll walk on that open heavens, receiving all the good and all the perfect gifts that God has prepared for us. As we, the Bible says also in uh, John chapter 3, verse 27, it says, a, a man receives nothing except it be given from above. Yes. God is prepared to give us good things, but the enemy is there in the heavens, over us, causing clouds to block our heavens. But tomorrow, all those clouds are going to be removed by the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. So please join us tomorrow night at 9 p.m. because it's going to be a wonderful time in the presence of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Luke chapter 12, verse 32, he says, Do not be afraid, little folks, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It is God's pleasure. He wants to do it. To give you the kingdom, to give you that which you are seeking for. Don't stay back because of any reason. Don't let anybody keep you back. Don't let religion, don't let your intellect, don't let you know tribal things or denominational things keep you. Come and let's together, like in Lamentation, let's quickly read there. Lamentation chapter 2. Verse 19. He says, All right, I want all of you to have here. All right, let's come. Let's come and cry unto our God. See, arise, cry out in the night. At the beginning of the watches, pour your heart like water before the presence of God. There's a direction, there's a place to pour out your heart, not to man, not to anybody, but to to God in His presence. Lift up your hands unto Him for the lives of our children, the lives of our husbands, the lives of our brothers, the lives of our sisters, the lives of the nation wherein we are, who faint and who hunger at the head of every street. We'll be bringing this nation street by street before God. And we know that the Lord will answer. He has never failed and he will never fail. So bring everybody. Bring every situation. Come, knowing it around, tell everybody. Open Heaven's Night Vigil is hosting us. It's God that is hosting us. Not myself, not apostle. God in heaven will be hosting us tomorrow from 9 p.m. through to 12.30 a.m. And I know you cannot but advance. Every area of your life will move forward. You will advance physically, spiritually, emotionally, materially, and otherwise. Because as we appear in Zion, something happens. Something happens when we all come to Zion. And I'm expecting you, I'm expecting wonders in my life. I'm expecting open heavens. And I know you will not miss that. See you tomorrow at Foundation Ministry and Election Business Park, 9 p.m. through to 12.30 p.m. God bless you and see you. Thank you very much.